Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of The Road to Glory, episode number 114. And in today's episode, we are going to be completing an SBC that is going to give us a flashback player. And also, we are going to be completing an icon swap objective, uh, which that flashback player is going to help us get. I'm sure you can all tell who that's going to be. Uh, but do me a massive favor right at the start of this episode. Keep that love and support going right into the start of 2020. Smash that thumbs up button. I want to see 3,000 likes on this episode. I know you guys can do it because you got over 5,000 the other day. You're absolutely insane. Uh, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click that notification bell. Become part of the notification squad. Um, so we start this episode out. On New Year's Eve, uh, I, I kept, like, I was having an evening, as uh, people do, and, and I kept popping back upstairs to just go on beginner squad battles and just score a goal and then let the game play out, because I needed to get, like, three games done or four games done with Santi Cazorla, um, and that was the final thing to get me an extra pack and a shadow chem style, so every, like, 20 minutes I'd just pop upstairs, kick off the next half, and then just, yeah, won four games or three games uh, on beginner, 1-0, because I'm great at, at FIFA. Um, but, yeah, that, was, that just got that bit done for me, because there was only a couple of hours left of that challenge, the presents from Santi or whatever it was called. Um, so Wambasaka and Joan Jordan sold. Wambasaka nearly a thousand coins less than what we bought him for. I don't know why he dropped so much, like such a large chunk in a couple of hours of using him, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, and then what I decided to do was overnight list up my Dalglish because uh, you never know when you want to do something new and fresh. So say goodbye to Kenny. 1.350 is what we're going to list him up for. Unfortunately, he doesn't sell. Um, I did it overnight for a higher price than he sort of normally goes for. Didn't get any, didn't catch any bites. Uh, and then, well, of course, uh, he just goes back into the club. Because when I when I looked the next day and he was down like 100k from what I listed him from, like 1.250, uh, I was like, I don't know if I really want to sell him for that. He's one of those players which he comes down to about 1.2 and then spikes back up to 1.4. So I just kind of need to wait for that spike. But I don't know if it's going to happen because team of the year is coming, isn't it? You know, we got the splash screen, of course. Popping up uh, as you enter, fuck, which says team of the team of the year in like three days, four days, whatever it is. Um, it's I think it works out that it's starting on Monday, which kind of makes sense. And I think Monday would be the sixth, which is what people had suggested. I guess something either leaked or people saw it somewhere on a website and and knew that that was that was the case. So team of the year starting on Monday. If it's anything like the previous years, what it would be would be like a. The forwards come out first nowadays, right? For a couple days, and then the midfielders, and then defenders, uh, and then everything out for the rest of the weekend or something like that. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm storing packs up, and as soon as I know that there are team of the years in packs, especially if it's like forwards, uh, I would, I would, I would do. A, I'll do a video, a, a special episode for you where I open up all my packs. Like tomorrow's episode will be my rewards video, but it will just be me opening my reds. Uh, I will save the. For champions packs and also the the rivals packs um, for when team of the year is here. It seems as it is only literally a few days away. Um, so in the background there, I've been buying some players. I, I think I actually went and bought every single player apart from one Suso that I had in my club already uh, to complete Piers check. So. It's probably not such a popular one for you guys. I, in fact, I did a vote on Twitter and a, a couple thousand of you said, um, well, the, the vote was like 60-40, don't do him, save your coins. Uh, but then when I went to have a look at the Bundesliga squad I could use, I have a 10-game loan on Mbabu, and that's, that's then it. And this isn't going to be the last time we need a Bundesliga squad this year, I'm guessing. So uh, I was like, he looks good, he's 80k, just do it. Just do it. You get yourself someone. I never know down the line where I'm going to need that. Because he's good enough to be like a starting right back. I would just need the players around him to sort of be good enough as well. So you never know when there's a great Dortmund player that comes out. You get like a crazy Royce come out and, he gets, and I get him in red. Then boom, you got a link straight away. That sort of thing. So it was more for the future as well as right now. Um, but welcome to 86 rated flashback Pizcek to the club. He can also, of course sit on the bench for me in my main squad if we aren't to use him um because those stats right there i could see him coming on and doing a fantastic job uh really good so yeah like that's that's done um it was eighty thousand coins 
I probably you could have used a couple of the players from my club, but you know what? I didn't really find a way to get them into the teams, and I'll just save them for whatever SBC comes out next, you know? Uh, so here he is. Pizcek has got two-star skill moves, but four-star weak foot. Medium, medium work rates, I think, and then just obviously some brilliant, brilliant stats. I'm going to apply the shadow chemistry style that I got just got for that Santi Cazorla thing. Uh, and I decided that obviously I could do this if I wanted to go into the Bundesliga matches for icon swaps. I could just play him at centre back uh, and then use that loan and Babu. Uh, but I also decided that, you know what, I think I might save that loan and Babu for the next time we need Bundesliga stuff. Maybe at that point he's been upgraded again. I don't know. Uh, and then you've got like a crazy, crazy one for 10 games, which might be helpful further down the line this year. I didn't unlock the proper Mbabu, which really annoys me now, considering how good of a fullback he is on this game. Um, but yeah, this is the squad. This is how it will start. Or like when I get in game, it will switch to the 4-4-2. And I will, of course, instantly make four substitutes. Uh, some games I'll bring off Goretzka. Some games I'll bring off Taliso. Um, but of course, we'll bring Acuna on. We'll bring Atal on. And we'll bring Messi on. So we'll be playing up front with uh, with Neymar and Messi. Still a very solid centre mids there. The, the weak part of the team is the two centre backs. But I think those two are OP enough that... They could be fine. I, I hoped so, anyway. And that was the plan. Because uh, for the rest of today's episode, what we need to do is get the Icon Swap objectives done for the Bundesliga. We've done the England one, the Three Lions, which was what we did in yesterday's episode. And it was somewhat difficult and then sometimes we did really well uh, and it just goes to show you how crazy good that Ryan Kent is because he was a problem for my opponents all day long yesterday uh, so I'm really glad I did him a couple of upgrades on him and he would be absolutely unreal uh, he kind of already is but we come up against this in the first game and I'm using my new rules which is if I go into a rivals match and someone is trying the objective i.e. they've got a squad that looks like they're trying the objective I will try against them and then maybe if I go go one or two nil down I might just quit and move on um, to hopefully make it a little bit easier for myself uh, and then if I come up against someone that is clearly not doing the objective I'll quit move on uh, and and you know that will slightly bring me down a little bit to hopefully a little bit below my play level because we've brought our team a little bit below my play level which should hopefully even it out and what I can tell you from the games that we've played today uh, is that I am um, that the opponents I'm coming up against I would say are still easily on my skill level. We go one nil down to this guy right here, and as you can see, I'm kind of getting dominated in the first half. Uh, I think he had like a three at the back formation. He actually played three five two, which is odd to me, but I think he was trying to get a weekly objective done, um, which was keep a clean sheet with a three at the back formation in rivals it's one of the weak two gold ones however unfortunately for him i do score with messi get my equalizer five or six minutes into the second half which really sort of turned the game for me you know it meant that actually yes i could get through this guy i did struggle all in the first half i didn't really have many opportunities but you know what he isn't the best player in the world, and I can get a goal against him. So we did that, uh, and then things just sort of opened up for me. I guess uh, once he'd conceded his goal, he either then realized, oh, I actually need to win this. So he went a little bit more attacking. Uh, that led to a couple of rash decisions, one of which was taking out Messi in the box. Neymar steps up from the penalty that we get given and I mean his run up is so long that I think it almost forces a goalkeeper to dive uh, so I just decided to stay down the middle and it paid off for me this time uh, but you never know next time I might be up against one of you guys who know that I'm going to stay down the middle and then I'll get it saved won't I so uh, yeah, yeah we well I literally just change my penalties up all the time I think the past few that I've taken have actually gone down the middle just because I'm not quite sure what to do anymore uh, and I think maybe I've scored all of them recently i'm not sure anyway we end up getting a 3-1 or going 3-1 up against this guy uh, and he was very very attacking obviously at that point to try and get back in this game uh, so i think he genuinely went on constant pressure i really struggled to move the ball in the latter stages of the game he gets through a david via here knocks it into politano who of course scores that one who is a very very good player uh, and i it's just one that i don't have uh, which is unfortunate and it's quite a grind i don't really like those milestone things i think a lot of people do i just i just don't really like them if i'm honest so i i kind of just stay away from them which is totally fine to do i guess um but i do score a fourth goal in this game like i think it was actually with uh serge gnabry which is good because it means that we've scored 
There, there's like another objective as well, which is like score with a midfielder in rivals, and that that we we got that done there because he set as a right mid, whereas like Messi set as a right wing, so he's classed as an attacker. Um, and then there was also score a game, uh, score a goal in a game with a Bundesliga player in rivals or something like that. So we got one out of three of them done, um, and whether or not we get any more of them done, I, I don't know if that will happen or not. But we get like two thousand XP for completing week one gold, and you know the. The 700 XP that comes with it and the 1400 that we got for one of, one of the others. Um, and that takes us up another level. So we are, we're like not that far away from, from Batshuayi or, or Perisic now, which is good. It means that I think we are probably going to complete this season in the next week. I need to because uh, I, I basically just need to see what comes out in the weekly um, objectives on, on Friday, like tomorrow or whatever. Uh, when that comes out tomorrow night, I, I, I need to get on with the bronze and the silver and stuff and just hopefully get enough points that we can be all good and just unlock that nice and quickly and not have to do some of the really difficult ones. Luckily, though, for me, I already got that bicycle kick one done. I don't know how, but we did it. Um, there's just other ones, which is like the three at the back one in Rivals and the starting and winning a Rivals match with like players from the top five leagues in your starting 11. I'm not going to do that, so I'll probably just skip it for now. Uh, and then if I need it, I need it. If I don't, I don't. Um, <laughs> so my opponent shushed me when he equalized. So, of course, that meant if I score again, I'm going to shush him. Um, so I did. <laughs> so we ran down the uh, the other end, hit the post, and we got a lucky rebound. So that was a perfect opportunity to shush. He literally had one shot in the entire first half. So I don't know what he was all cocky about. However, uh, the second half was not so great. I mean, what a goal that is. A lovely finish from, I think, League SBC player who has loads of pace and stuff. In the end, we draw two all against that guy, so it's a wasted game, but I, I obviously stuck with it just because I, I felt like I was dominating. It was just unfortunate that we didn't come away with the win, but that is what it is. Uh, it's frustrating knowing that you can draw and, and, and that both of you don't progress. But uh, we, we move on and, and, you know, hopefully get a win in this next one. We come up against this. Now, obviously, in my eyes, this guy's not doing the objectives because uh, he doesn't really have a team that would fit the objectives. However, I just looked at that team and I saw, like, Jamie Vardy up front and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I think I, I can out-team this guy just by bringing my subs on. And if, he's, if I'm better than him, then I think we'll win. Uh, even though that kind of breaks my rules of I should just quit and go a little bit lower in skill rating. So I decided to actually play this one. Uh, and we went 2-0 up quite quick, you know. And at halftime, 2-0. Looks like we're dominating. Things are going our way. Um, can we make it 3-0? It looks like it because Neymar is pushing forwards. He's knocked it into Leo Messi. Take that strike. It off the post. But that is an offside from Neymar. So that one's not going to count. And then look at this. Look at this ball in from a defender on his weak foot, I'm pretty sure. That Konate. And a lovely header from Kyle Walker. I don't know what happened there but i conceded it and i i was a bit sad about it however we were not run up the other end score with leo messi uh restore that two goal lead with three one up in this game and that's basically how this one ended he stuck with that five at the back the entire game i'm not really sure why because i think there were certain players that were out of position i don't know whether he forgot maybe to change his his team around um but it is what it is we get another one of the games done uh, and that is another one towards the bundesliga icon swap objective next up we come up against this guy i was like Okay, I can beat this. You know, there's some good players there. And what I've realized, Rio Ferdinand, baby Rio Ferdinand, was most definitely the play from Icon Swaps last time. He is, I think, the best defender I come up against. I genuinely think he is the best centre-back on this game. Baby Rio Ferdinand. I, every time I play against him, he outmuscles me. He outpaces me. He is just genuinely unbelievable on FIFA 20. So, uh, that was a... A mistake to not get him um, in in Icon Swaps one. However, I do love Roberto Carlos, and I got on really well, of course, with with Guardiola for the longest time. Um, we get a goal with Acuna right here. It was a lovely, powerful left-footed strike. Look at that, right into the the, the top corner, uh, and and that is going to be the the winner for us. You know, we come away with a two-one victory here. It was a close game. It wasn't the greatest game, um, but I got called lucky, and I didn't deserve to win that one afterwards. So. Uh, Cheers, mate. I appreciate the easy win. That wasn't easy, but yeah, that's what we said. Uh, that's what we'll say. <laughs> so, there's only one more win to get. We come up against this guy. Um, he's got a red Kimmich, which I would have been quite quite happy to get. I'm not going to lie. He's also got that Konate, which 
if if I think that if that SBC came out again, I would probably look to do it just because he does look very good. Um, but I go 1-0 up after 24 minutes and it is Messi going to be the one to score the goal for me. However, Gnabry knocks it into, I think, Moses Simon. And that is one of the first times I've come up against this player. And he is incredibly fast, incredibly agile and just dribbles in really, really well. Uh, so I struggled like like crazy against him. However, we ran down the other end and just before the halftime whistle goes, we are able to get that goal with uh, Leo Messi to put me 2-1 up. And there wasn't much going on in this game. Uh, but the shots that we were having were seeming to go into the back of the net. So Neymar gets through one-on-one. -on -one. Keeper starts rushing out. Gives me way too much time to chip that one over him. Uh, and that is going to lead to a cheeky little 60 of minute rage quit. Which is going to be the fourth and final token for our icon swap. So uh, we managed to get this one done quicker than we got the uh, three Lions one done yesterday. So that wasn't actually too bad at all. I know I don't really... I know you guys know that I don't really like these objectives however that one went about as good as it could be of course there were a couple of games there one that I sort of quit in the background and one where we ended up getting a draw but there wasn't a huge amount of wasted time that that particular time so I was happy with it you know we come away with another icon swap that's two out of the six now and two out of the three online ones so uh, I'll do that I'll, I'll carry on doing like the offline ones kind of like in the background not going to be fun but it is what it is um so yeah, I'll work on all of that, guys. Uh, but there we go. We have our second one. We get Yamada today. Um, and I still don't quite know what I'm going to do with the icon swaps. However, it is nice to know that we've got a couple of them. Uh, and we've still got over a week to get the rest of them. So you won't see much of the, the squad battles ones because they'll mostly be offline. But I'll show you when I unlock the players. Uh, and then, of course, in probably in the next episode, well, tomorrow is, is rewards, but it might be some of the... We've just got La Liga to do online. So we might... That's hopefully my strongest team. It's nearly like my main starting 11, probably. Um, but yeah, if, 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 if that goes well, we can get another token, then we will have got through the, the toughest part of, of Icon Swap which for me is definitely the online. I know a lot of people say they prefer the online to the offline, but uh, the offline ones you can kind of put Netflix on and just like relax and get them done um, and, and, and win against World Class or Legendary or whatever it is. You know, it hasn't been a, too much of a problem for me so far. I'm two out of six on the Italian one. What it is though is just very long and boring. And I'm not really quite sure why EA would want it to be long and boring because that's all it is ever going to be. If it's squad battles on legendary with really low rated teams, like that's that's the problem with it. Um, but hey, here's what it is. Maybe we'll get change in the future. I hope so. Uh, and I will certainly feed that back from my perspective anyway. Guys, do me a huge favor at the end of this episode. Hit that thumbs up button. Um, that'd be amazing. Yeah, if we can get 3,000 likes, that'd be class. And of course, don't forget to come follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Hope you guys are getting on well in 2020 so far. I'll catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.